Hey guys, Redax here, and today I'm bringing you another deck profile in the list of long deck profiles I have to do. Um, so, the today we're going to do uh, Shiranui. Um, this is Dominate Shiranui, not Old Shiranui. So yeah, um, I don't think I've done a Dominate deck profile yet. Um, I think I just wanted to wait till set 12 came out, because I think they were both pretty close to release, so... Yeah, here we are. Um, so we're gonna get started. So starting Vanguard, we have Stealth Dragon Madori, uh, easily uh, obtainable from the trial deck. Um, so skill is when a dominant unit attacks, you can put him to soul on GB one. Uh, you draw a card and choose any player's rear guards and it gets three K until end of turn. Uh, so pretty good card. Uh, you lose a guy on field, but you're gaining a soul and you're getting and drawing a card out of it too. And you want to make sure your dominant unit hits. So, yeah. Fun times with this guy. Uh, grade threes. Should be obvious. Uh, four. Shirinui Oboro. The new version of Shirinui that came out in the trial deck. And then the hot snap. Just because. Um, I'm not really going to go over dominate. Because do the dominate has been out for a while now. So there's no, not really a point to uh, go over it. But launch is short. You get to take control of your opponent's units and attack. Uh, so, overall skill is at the beginning of your riot phase, you may choose a, a card from your opponent's drop zone and then call it to rear guard. That's probably Mujin Lord. And then on stride, dominate. Choose one. Uh, choose one of your rear guard. When your opponent's rear guard, stand it, dominate it, and then until the end of turn, it gets four thousand power and then attacks your opponent. So yeah. Um. He's gonna be the strike. He's gonna be your great three. You wanna ride on because dominate is now the new thing for Nubatama, and honestly, it's a bit better than after image. So yeah. Uh, so for the new Shiranui. Um, next I run two of this guy, uh, Morishigo. Uh, he's a pretty cool and really interesting card. Um, skill is once per turn. Not once per turn. Yes, once per turn. Uh, act. Vanguard or rear guard, you choose one of your rear guards, rest it. Your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guard, you give it 3k. And then he becomes a 10k, uh, he becomes not a 10k attacker, he gets 10k, so he becomes a 21k attacker. Pretty good. Um, your opponent has to choose as long as they have a rear guard, so he's guaranteed going to be a, a 21k attacker. And the rear guards you want to use to rest, um, just like you can use a draw trigger. Um, your critical triggers, like any card that you would like, wouldn't mind losing out due to a, due to a skill. So like those triggers that go into soul, basically. So yeah, uh, two of this guy, and then I run uh, two of the OG Shiranui, uh, one SP, and then one of the reprint one. Um, yeah, it's just, um, it's just because it has Shiranui in the name. Um, I know you prefer to ride the the newer Shiranui, but just in case you have to ride, um, at least you'll be on a card with Shirinui in its name. So then all your other cards with that need Shirinui Vanguards can proc. Um, but yeah, so, uh, still, the, um, on stride, your opponent chooses a, you choose a card from your opponent's rear guard, bind it, and then your opponent discard a card. Still not bad. Um, Negging one from hand and a temporary neg on the field. Um, just nice. And then if you have and GB2, something about crit and 5k for GB2. Uh, but yeah, to the OG Shiranui. Uh, for grade twos, uh, our bear got a little upgrade. You run four of Tamahage, Tamahagane Metsu. Yeah, our bear got, our, our, our Tamahagane bear got an upgrade. Um, so, skill is. Uh, on place Vanguard or Rearguard, choose a card top, bind the top card of your deck. You get to see what it is. Um, I know you're thinking, what? Binding? Why you would do that? Especially when you have, like, Vanquisher out there. Um, it's to work in tangent with its secondary skill. Uh, secondary skill, uh, once per turn. Uh, when a dominate unit attacks during your turn, you can counterblast one. If you do, choose a card, choose a face down card from your bind zone. Put into your hand, and he becomes a 19k attacker. Um, that's really good. Um, so that card you bind 
it will just easily go back to your hand. Um, he becomes a 19k attacker before boost and before trigger, which is pretty dope. Uh, yeah, he's per he's really good. I like him. Uh, yeah, four of of him. Uh, next. Uh, for Furai. Um, so, grade two, awesome card. Skill once per turn. Act uh, soul blast one. Uh, you can choose a card for your opponent's drop zone. Your opponent's call it to an open rearguard circle, and in a turn it retires. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, for your Mujin Lord turns, where you want to get like enough rearguards to ping at your opponent. Um, so yeah, and then other skill is when, when another unit attacks during your turn, if you have a Vagor with Shinui, he gets 2k to end turn. So this stacks, obviously. Uh, so every time a dom a unit, not just a dominate unit, a unit attacks, he gains 2k. So that also includes your Vanguard and your Rear Guard. So if you swing with your Rear Guard and Vanguard first, then he'll gain 4k, which is pretty nice. Um, plus a full field, that's another 10k. So he could potentially become 21k, 23k actually, if if I math correctly. But yeah, cool car. I like him. And then lastly, uh, three, uh, Unga, 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 Unga. Forget it. I won't even try to bother. Um. So. This card is really interesting. Um, I haven't really used this effect that much because it didn't really happen. Because the situation didn't really happen, but happen. But if it does happen, then I'll be really happy to use him. Uh, so skill is um, his first skill is uh, when a dominant unit attacks during your turn, you can discard a card from your hand. Uh, if you do, you draw a card, and then he loses the ability until until the end of turn. So basically, it's a once per turn skill. I'm not sure why I didn't just say once per turn. Um, but yeah. Um, his secondary skill is what I usually run him for. Um, when this unit is placed on GB1, when this unit is placed on rear guard, choose up to two of your rear guards and one of your opponent's uh, units. Uh, the power of those units increase or decrease to 11k until end of turn. So essentially, um, this is just to help fix some. Um, your opponent's vanguard power. Uh, so basically, if you're going, if you're on your Mujin lower turn, and then on you use a uh, Oboro stride skill to attack your opponent's vanguard, and they hit a trigger, uh, you can call him to negate the trigger and put the your opponent's vanguard back at 11k. So then, all your your dominant units will probably attack and hit. Um, so yeah, that the, you run this card to if, in case that situation ever comes up. Uh, uh, I, for me, it doesn't. It didn't really happen a lot for some reason. Um, so if you don't like him, you can replace him with uh, Genkai if you want Genkai back. I don't run Genkai anymore, but if you want, you can run Genkai. You can run Tenkei Vanillas if you want. If you're still afraid of the the rush. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna run un, un, this guy for grade ones. Great, great ones. Uh, horse stride fodder. Obviously, you want this is stride deck, so you want a stride. Obviously, I'm not using the um, using the creepy uh, cre creepy creepily glare at you uh, stride fodder version instead of the new um, probably action looking stride fodder because um, this is shiny, shiny, and I just like it how it just looks right into your soul. So yeah, uh, four stride fodders. It's kind of a given. Uh, three Saizui, I guess as I say it, you know, these names, um, it's essentially a Furai clone, but instead of gaining 2k, it gains 3k, um, so it really helps out on your Mujin Lord turns, uh, so, uh, well, it's not really a Furai skill, it's when a dominate unit attacks, not when a unit attacks, um, but yeah, still, um, 3k for every dominant unit attack, so if on your Mujin Lord turns, that's 15k. So yeah. Um, to Tenre, um, I'm kind of iffy about this card. Um, 
sometimes I do use sometimes because I don't really use it effectively um, as I played, but you see just in case. Uh, first skill GB1 continuous. Uh, during your turn, your vanguard with Shiranui and its card name gets all your opponent's vanguards, card name, clans, rates, and nation, all that. So basically, this helps you make sure if you want to use your opponent's rearguard skill that is re like vanguard required, vanguard name restricted. This basically helps you proc those skills when you dominate, which is sometimes useful. And probably against Gurgwit, they have that 4k Unite plus dude, which I might still need to do a deck roll on that. Um, oh, maybe I'll wait for set 13. Um, yeah, you can use proc that skill because you'll have Gurgwit in the name. So yeah, really helps. Oh, Blade Master works too. Um, then his other skill is GB1. When the unit attacks a Vanguard that this hits, that this unit boosted, uh, you can put him to soul. If you do, your opponent just card from his or her hand and discard it. So, had some of the old Nubutama kind of feel with, um, with like Dreadmaster. Um, instead of a counterblast, you put him to soul. And then your opponent discards a card. Uh, and it's also not restricted to like, if you have less card than your opponent, like Dreadmaster is. So, and it's, it's a better Dreadmaster-ish. I wouldn't say it's a better one because you're losing a dude. Dreadmaster at least stays on the field. But hey, you got this dude. Uh, I wanted one raccoon, <laughs> my tech card. I'm not going to try to even say its name because it's pretty long and just, just yeah. Uh, so first is, first skill is when it's placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard, you combine up to two cards uh, face down from top of the deck. Again, it's kind of like a, it's, it's like Taka Mahogane Metsu where you bind it because it can't work in tangent with its second skill. Uh, second skill is once return when a dominant unit attacks, um, choose a face down card for your bind zone and put it into soul. If you do, it, it becomes a 12k booster or attacker, wherever you put him. So yeah, again, the first skill works in tangent with the second skill and then you can also bind two cards so you don't really have to bind for a Tomahogany skill. So then you can put one to soul, put one, bring one to hand. So yeah, pretty, I like this guy. I might bump him up to more. I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, four PGs. Right now I'm running the the on hit PG on hit bring recycle PG. Uh, so when a dummy unit attacks, hits a vanguard, you, you can put a copy of it into the bottom deck from your job zone, and then take another copy of it from the job zone and put it into hand. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, counterblast wise, I I find some problems with counterblast in the deck. So you do have the option to run the unflip PGs. Uh, but for now, let's take it with this dude. And then trigger lineup. Uh, eight crits, four of the Shinui crits, crits. Again, what's with this word? And then four of this crit where you basically counter charge by putting him into soul. So one of your options for that grade three. Um, oh, why do I keep doing this? Uh, four draws, um, easily attainable from the child deck. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a Marvel clone. Um, so yeah, and again, target skill for the grade three, put, rest him, then you can shaman the soul, give 3k. Uh, running draws because you have to discard for more cruel. The, um, the new Shunuri Stride. So yeah, so want to get at least some kind of big hand advantage there. And then uh, four heals because G Guardian and heals are going to heal. So yeah. And I'm using the Fire's Collection one because you might want to use a skill. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. It's up to you. Now on to the G Zone. Uh, first, I run two Murkrow. Uh, and one SGR. Because I did a case split. Uh, so yeah, this dude is pretty dope if you're up against, if you're up against, uh, clans that have, like, pesky rear guards you want to get rid of, like, if you're playing against DP, you can get rid of Laurel, all that jazz, um, so yeah, uh, skill is act once per turn, okay, generation break two, um, you soul blast two, uh, flip anything in your G zone face up, and then discard a card. Uh, stand and dominate all of your opponent's vanguard and attacks all of its rearguards. 
um, pretty interesting. Um, so when you drive, so you will actually perform a drive check. So you drive check two, and then after you attack with him, you drive check three. So yeah, it's you're getting you're getting a bigger hand in that case because you're drive checking five that turn. Um, you're wiping your opponent's board. Uh, so if they want to protect their rear guards, they will have to guard from hand. Uh, they can't. They cannot G guard because they don't. Because they no longer have a vanguard, so they can't. They can't hit the stipulation for or they don't meet the requirement for G guarding. Um. So yeah. And again, it's just if you want to get rid of like pesky rear guards that you know that your opponent might guard with, or like try to protect, or like they're in the back row and you can't get rid of, then easily you just stride onto him and just wipe him. Uh, again, for mostly like rear guard reliant decks, like gold, like any of the paladins, um, DP since they want the laurel out, um, nova grapplers, anything that like relies on their rear guards, um, but only two. I think two is a good number for for this deck. So yeah, uh, still run four Mujin lords. Still a pretty good guard. Um, for those also rear guard reliant decks that like to keep their rear guards out, um, just dominate, give 4k to every face off card in your G zone, and then for every of your opponent's rear guard you chose, dominate them and swing at Vanguard, um, just for small pokes, and then if they're at 5 damage, they can't really take any damage, so they have to guard with every single card. Um, so yeah, Lunular is still a great card to have. So yeah, with all the with all the multi attacks and pokes, um, for Megan Tembu, um, again this is also kind of to get rid of pesky rear guards you don't like. Uh, so Camelot's one Persona Flip, she's um, Mujin Lord's the same thing. Camelot's one Persona Flip, um, dominate while your opponent's uh, rear guards. It gains three K for every face up copy. For every face up card in your G zone, and then end of turn it retires. So, got a rear guard you don't like, you can just dominate it, get rid of it, just like that. So yeah, first he's probably going to be your first stride, and then afterwards, how however the situation goes, you can go to Mujin Lord, or you can go to Murkrow. So yeah, uh, one Sukumarakan. Um, it's just for card clans that has a really big hand size okay so yeah kind of it comes in clutch sometimes though i haven't used it yet this card comes in clutch so your gv8 uh rogue what am, what am i trying to say roku shiki shikira khan yeah i love this card i use this card uh, surprisingly i use this card a lot uh gv8 uh when your opponent places a guard a car, a car, um, a unit. When your opponent places a unit into the guardian circle from hand, you may counterblast one or soul blast one. Your opponent discards two cards. I love this card. This is amazing. I won games with this card. I suggest. I totally recommend running this guy. I love him. And for G guardians, uh, to a Genhorok, Genhorokon. Um. Counterblast one, soul blast one. Dominate one of your opponent's grave one rear guards in the back row, and then use it as a shield. So hey, uh, hey, that's a nice Bruno you got there. Nope, it's mine. Hey, nice Laurel. No, it's mine. Um, just get rid of any pesky grid ones you don't like, and then, yeah, use it as a shield. Uh, one Zakshikim Hime, uh, our little heel trigger grown up. Um, skill flip any flip a G Guardian. When she's placed on rear guard, uh, guardian circle, your opponent chooses a card from her hand, discard it. If they don't discard, she gains 20k shield. So basically, uh, either discard a card, so I have to put more guards down, or don't discard, and then you need to rely on more triggers to hit. And then lastly, um, one Abu Dadaishi. Um, this one's from the Fire's Collection, not the not the um, the Chaw deck one. This one's the one where if you have if your opponent have six or less cards in your hand, he becomes twenty k shield. Um, does sometimes come in clutch. Sometimes you just probably just flip him for uh, your 
for her. Uh, but yeah, either way, that is it for this deck profile, guys. Um, Domini is a pretty fun deck. Um, I like it a lot. Like, I had, I made new Utama since the Break Ride era with, uh, with the Congos. Um, so yeah. I think new Utama was like the second deck I made when I first started this game. Just because no one else played it. And it was fun. Um, but yeah. Um, overall this deck, um, the deck is a fun deck. Um, really made Nubitama more no no more noticeable in the in the game now than ever before since Nubitama is like one of those clans that got shafted in the past like Mega Colony did. Well, Mega Colony is getting the most shaft now instead of Nubitama. Um, but yeah, uh, if you like your seed, like the video, subscribe if you want more. Um, if you have like suggestions to what to switch out in the deck. Um, feel free to post in the comments below. I really need to get better at com uh, replying to comments because I said I want to get better at that, but I've been putting it off because of work and stuff like that. But yeah, um, that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.